breach it. No. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Jason from Chicago Auto Pros. We're getting ready to put together our brand new four post lift from Backyard Buddy. This is a Steel Valley lift. Um, this is a 7,000 pound lift. Very excited to put this together for the guys. It's always nice to have the convenience of putting a car on a lift so you can work on sections of the car like the lower rocker panels and it's a lot easier to lift it up and work at a comfortable height than leaning over or working on the ground. So here it is, let's get it put together. It's really, really confusing, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to look at this, then you have to read this, then you have to go over here, then you have to come back and read it again. It's a whole lot of reading. I would start off by sorting all this out. I can do it. Like just put it all in little pieces where it needs to be, you know? First thing we can do is grab the tools and we can take these off. Can you give us like a, like a seat? No. Why? Because <laughs> it's funner this way. It's a lot more funner if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. So the next thing that we gotta do is uh, attach the ramps to the front cross member. What's up everybody? I am Jason and we just got done putting together our brand new four post Steel Valley lift. And I figured I'd do a video on it. We've had a lot of different lifts in and out the shop and tell you exactly why we decided on this lift in our shop. This is a lift we're gonna use for our paint protection film department. They'll be using this to put on paint protection film on the front of cars and rocker panels. And it's really nice to use this type of lift because you can lift it all the way up and work in a comfortable position. You don't have to work while you're laying on the ground or in a puddle of water. So we're really super excited to have this lift in the shop. We will be going over the particulars of this lift here that we have, but first I wanted to kind of go through the different types of lifts we've had in our shops and why we ultimately ended up using this lift. The first lift that we ever had in our shops was a relatively cheap lift. It was a portable mid-rise lift. It was about $800. And this was great at the time for what we needed it for. It didn't really lift the car that high up off the ground. You still had to work sitting on a chair. The downside to this lift was it didn't rise all the way up so you couldn't work while you were standing up. And we had some problems with the hydraulic cables. This is probably more user error than anything, but we kept on pinching the cables because they'd get in the way when you would lift the car and then put it back down. The cables would get in the way and they get pinched by the actual lift. So about after the third time of them getting pinched and the car stuck up in the air where we had to bring in jacks and get the car off, off the lift, uh, I decided that we're not gonna use them anymore. We then moved to a two post portable lift, which was really nice. You think of two post lifts of really big posts and then you got the cross member up top. This was a portable one, so it was a lot smaller and it was pretty nice. It wasn't a big footprint. It had anchors that you put in the ground and then you can pull it in and you can bolt it into the ground when you need it. When you don't need it, you can take it up and you can move it against the wall. This is a nice lift for taking off wheels and doing the, the undercarriage wash, that's what we kind of use it for, but it wasn't a great lift for paint protection film because the two posts are very close to the car. It's hard to get onto the car in and out. 
opening the door. And if you're gonna do the rocker panels, that post was just kind of in the way. So that wasn't gonna work. I have done some research on some mid-rise lifts and it was kind of between a four post lift and a mid-rise lift, what I was looking for. And after talking to a bunch of other paint protection film installers, they all recommended going with a four post lift. I know there are some limitations to a mid-rise lift. I'll probably end up getting one of those later just to use in different areas of the shop here. Some of these lifts you have will have a problem with really lowered vehicles. And then the lifts have limitations themselves too. You can't lift it all the way up really high like a four post lift where you can work at a comfortable arm working level. It'll be one of those ones mid-rise lift where you still kind of have to work on a chair if you're gonna do the rocker panels. Last year, we did end up purchasing a different four post lift. We got an Atlas lift. And for what it was, it's, it's relatively nice. I like the lift. We're gonna compare this lift to that four post lift. We're actually in a new shop now. And when we were building this shop out, what we wanted to do is build in ground lifts where you cut out the concrete and then you put this center rise, mid rise or high rise lift into the concrete where it sits flush and you could drive over it no worries. After exploring how much these lifts cost, we decided that uh, we're gonna cut that budget out because there's a lot of other stuff that we wanna do and ended up going with this Steel Valley four post lift, which we were really happy with. And I kinda wanna go back and forth in contrast to our other lift that we have at our other shop, so let's get started. Getting started first impressions of this lift compared to the other Atlas that we have, this one is much thicker steel. You can tell the, the post, the ramps, everything is much, much thicker than the one at our other shop. Really impressed with this. This is a custom lift. It's all built in the United States of America. All the steel is sourced in the United States of America. So everything is built here in the USA. Hydraulic lift. This is a 110 unit, so you can plug it into any normal outlets. Everything you see here comes with this lift. This is the 7,000 pound classic lift and you can customize this lift into any color that you want to. We chose red and black here. The lift does come with these set of racing ramps here to pull the cars on, which are really, really nice. Happy those were included. There are some other accessories that you can get for this lift. You can get little wheels on this lift that you can pull here. So when you put this uh, platform down, you can kind of push the lift to wherever you want with one person. There is a center hydraulic jack that you can use. If you wanted to take the tires off, you can have a center hydraulic jack that you can jack up to the jacking points on the car. And then you can take the wheels off on the four post lifts if you wanted to do that. They have a whole platform here in case you wanna just cover this up and just have a one big platform. Putting the lift together was relatively easy if you know how to read instructions. It, it is gonna take about a half of a day, you know, probably with two or three guys. If you had a forklift, it would make it much easier lifting these things. We had about seven or eight guys to lift them, so it wasn't too bad. But if you don't have seven or eight guys, make sure you have some sort of forklift or some sort of lift. You will need some special tools. There is kind of a locking ring here that you'll need to spread apart to put on, on these uh, shafts. And you need this tool here. We tried to do it without the tool. It didn't work very well. I think one of the most important factors of this lift and why we chose this lift is it does have a five year bumper to bumper warranty on everything, the hydraulic system, all the components, parts, cables, five year warranty. Our other lifts only came with a one year warranty. So we have that satisfaction to know if anything does go wrong, that it's gonna be covered under the warranty. I do wanna be transparent to you guys. I did get a discount on this lift because I am doing this video. I reached out to them and said, hey, if I did a video, would you give me a discount? And they said, yes. I will try to reach out to them and get that same discount for you guys. So check it out in the description below. So far, so good. I'm happy with the performance on it. Everything's working nice and smooth. We've only had a couple cars up and down so far, but we'll definitely get the use out of this. If you're in the market for a new lift, check out steelvalleylifts.com. This lift is a little more expensive than your import lifts, but if safety is important to you, if quality is important to you, if being built in the USA is important to you, if having the ability to have custom colors is important to you, go check them out, give them a chance, steelvalleylifts.com. I'm Jason, thanks for watching. See you next time.